Hello, freak bitches. And an accomplishment. And that was his way of starting off every day. Yeah, that's, I think, yeah, I think also it gives me something. I kind of look forward to it a little bit the more I do it. Mm. I look forward to that time that I spend, but I'll leave those earplugs in, man, until I have to take them out until really? like something comes along. Do you live in a noisy place? Mm, I live in sometimes a place that has some noise. Is it, you you live in an apartment or a house? Yeah, and I, I have a house in Nashville, but I have an apartment still, my old apartment in Los Angeles. Yeah, and it's LA, a little noisy. Yeah, it gets noisy. LA's noisy. You can always hear something. You can hear somebody. How long you go? How often do you go back? To LA? Mm, like four months out of the year. Do you get sad? Mm, let me think what I get. There's things that I miss. You know, I miss at the store. I miss seeing like Coco Diaz over yeah. there, you know? Yeah. Like, like, the yeah. store. Yeah, you that's walk up on him and his eyes light yeah. up, you hey, know? cocksucker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I love about the, the, the club that we have, that sign that says, get it together, bitch. Yeah, it's funny. That's Joey. Yeah. Oh, that's who says that. Yeah, uh, Joey used to always say that to us. He was so happy when he saw that. Oh, that's cool, dude. Oh, that's awesome. Because that was like his thing. Yeah. You were about to go on stage. He was firing you up like, get it together, bitch. <laughs> Let's go. Rock these motherfuckers. <laughs> Bro, yeah. There's something about, yeah, that like. Bro, he came into town and murdered. Did he? He murdered. He only wanted to do one set. He was supposed to do two shows. He's so funny, man. He's like a reluctant killer. Because he hasn't been doing that much stand-up, you know, uh -huh. because he's living in New Jersey. And, uh. It was a seven o'clock show. He goes, I'll, I'll do the 10. I'll do the 10. I go, get the fuck out of here. You're here, man. I go, go up, go up. And he went up and fucking lit those people on fire. The pop that he got it was just like the pop that you got, but even maybe even a little crazier. The pop when Joey got on stage, they were like, no way. Yeah. Because he's only been there once. Oh, know? it's like seeing Santa. Yeah. That's how they did with Chappelle, too. When I, when I brought Chappelle up at the club the first time, they yeah. went fucking ape shit. They couldn't believe it. Like, how, oh, is this real? how is Dave Chappelle here? <sighs> how is this real? Oh, dude, I remember watching Joey Diaz. He's the, I would find myself get when he would, when his music would come on. Dunk, yeah. Dunk, 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 whatever that, yeah, remember that yeah, intro yeah, music yeah, he would yeah, use? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whenever that would come on, I would literally, without even doing it, I would be out of my seat. Yeah. I would be so excited. He's the most watched comic by other comics. Mm, interesting. I would imagine. Don't yeah. you think, like, if you knew that Joey was going up in the OR, you'd go and have a seat in the back. Yeah. Always. Yeah, because you're going to see something, you know? Some crazy shit's going to happen. <laughs> yeah, 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 he's, yeah. yeah, He's all fired up. He's, he's going to say a, the words we're not supposed to say. He's on 500 milligrams of edibles. <laughs> 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 Bro, when he, one time I went over there, and it was him and Lee Syatt, you know, when he's got mm -hmm. Lee over there, like, and he would just, like, <laughs> Lee's on, like, 70,000. The flying Jew. <laughs> he turned Lee Syatt into a fucking total edible head. Oh, dude, Lee was a fucking... He, he was falling asleep while he was producing the show. He's producing the show. Yeah. There's a video of it, of him producing the show. He's producing Joey's show, and he's like this. Bro, well, here's what Out happened. Cold. Here's what happened. One time, I get there and I was like, "Hey, I think I hear a little whistling in the headphones." And Lee's like, "I don't want to try to figure it out." So Lee's like trying to figure it out. By the end, he's eating so many edibles. Like Lee was literally sitting there. He's like, "It was him." It was him. <laughs> By the end. <laughs> In the beginning, it wasn't. It was some other thing. But we he like, started recreating his yeah, own. We manifested our own destiny, bro. What's the what, you got a video of him <laughs> falling asleep? <laughs> Let's go. He's not sleeping, but. I just saw that. I just saw that. This is how you saw the devil. No, I guess he's you saw the devil. <laughs> you gotta shake them off. Shake them up, shake them up, shake them up, shake them. <laughs> when Lee Syatt met the devil. Right there. Yeah, bro, he tortured people. <laughs> oh, dude. What's the matter with you? Dude, one time we were schizophrenic breaks. We did some LSD, right? We were children, right? And so we went to the um, Waffle House because it was open, you know? Mm -hmm. Like when you were on drugs and you were a kid, you basically, like, that's the downside of having any place that stays open all night. It's like right. people are going to come there. They're all on know? drugs. No yeah, one's sober at Waffle yeah, House, yeah, right? <laughs> So we get there, dude, and uh, and we're in there, and my buddy starts laughing so hard, he's like uh, kind of convulsing a little bit, my buddy Scott, and the waiter was a uh, black gentleman and a gay guy, and we never